For the colour scheme, the general colours seen in this genre would be dark and brooding colours, and I have stuck to this idea as I have made my colour scheme predominantly red and black, red representing danger and passion, and black representing the unknown and mystery, all which connote the general idea of the music these types of magazines produce. On my magazine covers, you can see I have used the regular conventions of the alternative rock genre of magazine as seen in such magazines like Kerrang. This means I have used a colour scheme with colours which reflect thoughts of the genre, images which match the expectations of the audience of the genre style. In terms of the main image, I have used punk-esque style images with my models, dressing them in darker attire and making the females' models dark makeup, using the colour scheme with the makeup to promote the idea that this magazine is of the alternative genre. The models look almost gloomy to promote the general stereotype of the readers of the magazine, which would be of emo status to sh show the idea that they are isolated and dark. However, the body language and direct gaze with the audience makes the reader want to read the magazine as it gives them a sense of belonging, possibly hinting towards Carl Rogers' self-slash-partner ideal idea as they reflect the audience and give them something to aspire to be as shown in the articles. The models are a famous band giving the readers something to strive towards and since both the female models are pretty and young some readers may perceive them to be ideal partners as they are the type of person they would want to be with. The article captions use deal with topics such as depression and isolation all again commonly stereotypically associated with the subculture of the magazine's readers, giving them again the common sense that other people, especially famous people, have gone through the same thing and that they are not alone. Furthermore, to reference David Morley's preferred reading theory, the general audience would read this and perceive it as helpful and relatable, whereas other people who don't have a similar experience or are out of the stereotypical bounds may see this as over the top or controversial, slimming down the general audience to fit the subculture of people who will read and relate to the article shown, giving them the sense that the magazine has an understanding of the feelings of the reader and gives them help and relation throughout the articles. Finally, to collectively put the cover together, Richard Dyer's star persona theory is used to manufacture the magazines collectively to fit and manipulate the genre of the magazine, making all the models into pre-made items belonging to the genre and forming the articles around them and their new personalities to give the potential readers something to idealise and something to be like, as it fits what they want to be while gaining the magazine popularity, as it can fit closely to the specifics the readers would want making it relatable and reliable for the reader to think that everything about the magazine is seemingly perfect related to what the consumer wants and the genre. For my contents page, I have designed the page to emulate that of the contents of a real magazine, the layout featuring contrasting colours for attraction to the page and main image and rule of thirds. Firstly, for the contrasting colours, I chose to use red as the feature colour on the page. Red has connotations of passion and promotes the idea that the artists we show are passionate and talented, solidified with the article subheadings which reveal album plans and such that the audience would be drawn to read. Again, using the ideal self theory, the use of the main image of artists which are gaining popularity would obviously try to make the reader see an image of what they would like themselves or their partner to be like or become. Also, this links to the gratification theory in which the reader would read the magazine and aspire to become like the band so they could fit in with what is popular and gain a sense of belonging and security in an environment of people like them. The artist shown giving them an idol to aspire to be. Finally, the use of rule of thirds highlights the important areas of the magazine subconsciously to the reader. Unlike a magazine of the genre, would the contents text is in the outer third so it doesn't distract from the main image. However, it is on a grid which makes it attention naturally drawn to it. Moreover, linking with the main image, the Z formation of the main image with the contents and caption running along the top and bottom give it an easy way to view the important information to the reader whilst also fitting in with the ruling of a real magazine. Finally, as for my double page spread, I included a unique and interesting layout with borders and a lighter and less harsh colour scheme, as well as the use of minimal text on the first page. I made my main article relatable and realistic, featuring human interest questions to draw in the reader to the article, such as would a real magazine. I used a large pull quote which carries tension and dramatic effects to really gain interest and draw the reader in, as the general readers of the magazine would be drawn to articles in which they relate to or that they can gain knowledge from. 
I used the blue colour scheme as it matched well with the general aesthetic of the image as seen in many magazines as well as the colour carrying connotations of happiness, serenity and loyalty, reflecting the idea of the, of the bands as shown throughout the article and which are reflected to the reader. I chose to use minimal text on my double page spread and to use a third page as the layout and rhythm of the magazine matched better, having less text at first. And furthermore, as seen in magazines of the same genre, the effect of having a third page gives the reader the impression that they are getting more information for the further the article carries, as well as giving them the idea that they are having more accessibility to the article.